Today we're going to do a how-to video on how to use s and bs Precision Cleaning and Oiling Kit for their old filters, their old filter series. Now this is part number 88-0008. This is their Precision Cleaning Kit. Now why this is important, uh, or I'm sorry, why this is a Precision Kit is you will get, per your filter number, you're going to get a precision amount of oil used to oil the filter when we go back with it but let's do a simple unboxing here as to what you get with your kit uh, first off you get your instructions uh, this is how to use the cleaning kit uh, this sounds very simple but this is a very precise cleaning kit you also get your cleaning solution and the spray nozzle for the cleaning solution you get your filter oil and then you get also get your applicator bottle. Now your applicator bottle has uh, tick marks on the side of it, which is incremental. Each one of these increments on the bottle is 2.5 grams of oil. Now that is important because every filter gets its own amount of oil. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the uh, air filter for a 6.4 liter forward, uh, part number 75-5054. Now that filter in particular is going to take 90 grams of oil on the filter side of it and 17 grams of oil on the power stack side of it. Now we'll show you that once we get the filter out of the truck and get started. So this is what you have in your box. Again, cleaning solution, the spray nozzle for the cleaning solution, your filter oil, and your application bottle, and your instructions. Again. Look up your filter number on the internet, go to SMB's website, which is smbfilters.com, go directly to their website, and once you pick your part number that you have for your truck, uh, and you scroll down into applications there at the bottom of, uh, the, bottom of, the, of the page for your truck, it'll tell you how much oil that you're, that you're going to use. So let's get the filter out of the truck and we'll get started. This is our filter out of our uh, 6.4 power stroke. Uh, this filter is in very, very bad shape. We're actually going to replace this filter and put a new filter on the truck. But this is a good, this filter is a perfect example of what this cleaning kit actually can do. So we're still going to use it as our example, but we're definitely going to replace this filter. This filter has gone so long since it's been changed. Uh, this is a, is a drive-in service uh, truck that we had that came in here. This filter went so long without changing, it actually started pulling into itself after it clogged up with dirt. Now the amount of dirt that we got out of this has been ridiculous. But we're going to start from the top and show you uh, exactly how when you bring it off, the, when you take this filter off the truck, the proper way to go about cleaning it. First thing that you want to do is take the filter and you just want to knock it against a hard surface and get the loose dirt out of it, okay? And you want to do that, you know, pretty gently. The big stuff in here, bugs and whatnot, just take your fingers, rub through it, pull everything out. You don't want to use compressed air here. You don't want to use any type of tools because this will void the warranty of the filter. Now the filter's got a lifetime warranty on it, so uh, you know you don't. You definitely don't want to do that. Uh, now, our second step after we've got most of the, the loose dirt out of it, and you can see how much came out of it. Just that little bit of knocking around that we've done. Uh, the second step is we want to use our cleaning solution, our S and B cleaning solution. Now you want you can use as much of this as you want to. Ideally, your kit, your entire precision kit, is going to do about three or four oilings for you. Uh, so you want to, you know, use the use the cleaning solution liberally enough to get, as, you know, the filter as clean as you can. Obviously, so we're going to start with that. Okay, now we want to let we want to let this cleaning solution sit on the filter for about 10 or 20 minutes, and you can already see just running your fingers up, it crap is coming off of it. Uh, we're going to let this set for about 10 or 20 minutes and allow it to soak in, start pulling the dirt out, and degreasing the filter. Okay, we've let our cleaning solution uh, apply or sit on our filter for about 15 minutes here, and you can already see what it's done to clean this filter, even as filthy as the daggum thing was. 
So we've let this sit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use water to rinse this off. We're gonna use low pressure water. Uh, this is just like not using uh, compressed air to clean this filter. You wanna use low pressure water. You wanna use low pressure water for this, it's not to damage the filter. And you can see the crap is coming out of this filter. Okay, now we've got our uh, low pressure water going through here. We're just about got it clean. What I've done is I've just sprayed it off until I've quit having dirty water run out of this thing, basically. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of shake some of the excess water out of this filter. Quite a bit. Now, this comes to the part where it's important to let you know that this is gonna take 24 hours for this uh, filter to properly dry. This would be a really good time for you to have a disposable dry filter to go back on your, to go back on your s and kit. Uh, we offer them on the website, every vehicle application, we offer you the replacement oil filter and we also offer you the replacement dry filter. This is a perfect time to have a replacement dry filter to put on your S&B air intake kit. That way your truck's not down while you're waiting on this filter to dry because this filter is going to take 24 hours to clean, or to dry, I'm sorry. So again, we're just going to shake the excess water out of it. And you can see, hey, we're already starting to get it clean, but we're still gonna replace the filter on this kit. All right, 24 hours, she's gonna lay, we're gonna, she's gonna sit there. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll show you how to properly oil it. Okay, we've got our filter dry now uh, and we're gonna, we're ready to oil. We've gone through it, made sure that we don't have any big debris left and we got everything clean. Uh, again, this filter is in bad shape. Um, this fi filter probably went about 50,000 miles without being clean. Uh, it's in very bad shape. We are going to replace it, but we've used it for our example uh, filter to do this how-to video on. So now we've come to our oiling process. Uh, what we did was we went on the internet and we found that our 75-50-54 intake kit is going to require 90 grams of oil on the outside of the filter and 17 grams in the uh, power stack on the end of the filter. Our application bottle here uh, is uh, has different increments on it. Each increment is 2.5 grams uh, and it's got it marked up. So we need 90 grams, which is just about right here. So we're gonna fill our application bottle. on the inside of it. There's 90 grams in our application bottle. Okay. Now to apply our oil, we just pull the top off of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the filter. We're gonna start just a little bit underneath of the top of the filter here. We're gonna go around the filter and make two or three passes. We're gonna keep doing that throughout the filter section and we're gonna let this thing bleed down through the filter. Uh, it takes about 20 or 30 minutes.
Now, at 90 grams, uh, we're a little bit less than halfway done with our filter. So I've checked my oil level and that's about right. I've used about a quarter of the bottle. We're just going to go back and apply some more you know, to these spots. Again, this is going to bleed through the filter elements. So you don't have to just absolutely soak this thing in oil. You're going to get some bleed down. And it's going to sit for about 20 or 30 minutes uh, after we go back and hit most of the spots where it looks like we need, we're need we going to need some oil. Hit them with a light coat of oil. Okay, so I've still got, I'm about halfway done. Um, I've got just a little bit more than half of the filter here. According to the instructions from s &B, what they want you to do is they want you to go back on each pleat and apply a little bit more amount on each pleat at the top of the pleat. Now, this is gonna be our the most of our bleed down application of our oil. Again, don't soak it, don't let it pull up on the pleat in the, in the valleys there, in the low spots of the pleat. We're just gonna put a little bit on each pleat and then we're gonna turn it up on its end and we're gonna let that soak through. You don't want to over oil this. This could cause damage to your mass airflow sensor if you over oil it. So make sure that you watch your amount of oil that you're using. It says to use 90 grams on it. Use 90 grams for proper oiling. If you run out of oil, you use too much in one section of the filter, let the filter sit up and let it bleed back down. Okay. Now that's pulled me down over halfway. I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. We're gonna let it bleed, we're gonna let it bleed down and then come back and get the spots, uh, pick back up the spots we need to, to re-oil. Okay, we've got our first application of our, our, our oil done and you can see by the filter uh, that we bled down quite a bit here and we've got some sections that aren't covered. So we're gonna go back and use the rest for our 90 grams of oil cover these sections and try to cover the, the filter as, as evenly as we can. We've got just about everything on the filter covered now. Now we're just going to go back and I've got maybe five grams of oil left. I'm just going to go back and try to give as even a coverage over everything as I can. I'm going to tip the filter up again. I'm going to let it bleed down again. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do our power stack. Okay, we're gonna let our, our filter sit for another 20 minutes, let it bleed down and coat the, the entire filter. Then we're gonna do our power stack. Okay, we've got our filter completely oiled now. We've got the outside of our filter uh, completely uh, covered in oil. 
uh, our full 90 grams on here. Okay, all of our pleats are, are, are covered. Everything you can see has covered, has bled down and, and, and covered the filter completely. Now the last step of our process is gonna be our power stack. Now not all filters have this. The power stack is the inside, or just depending on how you look at it, the inside of the cone here. Uh, we need to oil this. This has been cleaned as well, but we're gonna oil this. Now your power stack has got a different amount of oil for it. If you have a power stack filter, it will tell you on S or uh, on SMB's website and the amount of oil for it. So this one's 17 grams. So we're marked to uh, we're gonna fill it up to we're marked at 10 to 20, so we're gonna fill it to 17. 2.5 each mark. Okay. So that's 17 grams. Now we're gonna oil our power stack. And we're gonna start at the top here and let it bleed down. Again, just like the what we did with the filter. We're just gonna try to cover as much as we can, then let it bleed down. Now when we let this fill when we let it this rest, we're gonna let this rest on this end of it. And you notice when we when we oiled the outside of our filter, we were going around the uh, we were right underneath the, the polyurethane end. But now when we turn it upside down to rest, we'll cover the that will cover the other end of the filter. all 17 grams on this power stack. We're trying to keep it as uniform through here as we can. I'm gonna leave just a little bit here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this upside down and I'm gonna let that soak through our power stack completely. And to finish up the process, we'll come back and we'll check to make sure all that the power stack, uh, the ribs of this are completely covered in oil. And that's it, that completes our process of how to use a precision cleaning kit on an s &B filter. This filter is clean and oiled and ready to go. If it was in better shape, we'd be putting it back on the truck, but since this customer uh, was very negligent in taking his filter off and cleaning it, we're not gonna put this back on the truck. We're gonna chunk this one, so. That's your how-to video on how to use the S&B Precision uh, oiling kit.